Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is the Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Nikita Martin. And I'm Marsha Walters. Recently, the SAU Athletic Department received a substantial endowment from Dan and Beth Galway of Plano, Texas. The Galways earned BAs from SAU in 1984. They have designated the annual investment income from the Perpetual Fund for the SAU Baseball Program. SAU athletic endowments now total nearly $645,000. Many improvements for SAU athletic facilities also come from private donations. SAU has an opening for the position of Dean of the School of Liberal and Performing Arts. In response to this, the Faculty Senate wants to poll faculty members as to their preferences regarding the nature of the search for someone to fill the position. SAU President Dr. Stephen Gamble recently asked the chairs of the School of Liberal and Performing Arts whether or not the search for a new dean should be internal or external. The Senate would also like to know the preference of the faculty concerning future searches. A special quilt exhibition by the Arkansas Quilters Guild will be on display beginning this week in the Brinson Art Gallery at SAU. The exhibition will remain on display through December 8th. The purposes of the Guild are to preserve the history of quilting and to create interest in quilting within all parts of the state. The exhibit is free and open to the public. For more information, call 235-4186. The Supplemental Instruction Program is currently organizing for Spring 2001. It is an academic support program that utilizes peer-assisted study sessions. It assisted more than 600 students during the Spring 2000 semester. SI leaders have grade point averages above three and are trained in specific learning strategies before they are hired. Students interested in becoming SI leaders should contact Coordinator Stephanie Bennett, Graham Hall 110, at 235-4052. Students interested in a career in mathematics, the natural sciences, or engineering are invited to apply to the Barry Goldwater Scholarship and Excellence in Education program. With its establishment by Congress in 1986, the Scholarship Foundation was designed to provide opportunities for outstanding students. Interested sophomores and juniors should contact Dr. Joe Winstead in Wilson Hall, room 218, by January 18th. Barry Goldwater was a United States Senator and Republican presidential nominee in 1964. An art show will take place on campus for the next few weeks. James Peter Simon is a landscape, cityscape, contemporary painter from Montreal, Quebec. Simon's paintings are impressionistic, with subjects including rivers, country walks, billiard halls, and junk car lots. Simon's paintings are mostly 8 by 10, with brush strokes playing a major role in his compositions. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Marsha Walters. And I'm Nikita Martin. With an SAU profile, I'm Christy Roden. And I'm Chad Batchelor. There's a new Brace staff on campus this year. The staff consists of old and new members. One special new member is the editor-in-chief of the Bray, Virginia Ambrose. Virginia began her hard work by composing her new Brace staff, which includes Steve Harrington, news editor, Brianne Harper, feature editor, sports editor, Braden Harmon, copy editor, Eric Griffiths, online editor, Chris Works, advertising manager, Bryce Harmon, and layout design, Charlie Mooney. Photographers Josh Crawford and Tanya Andrews, reporter Cody Ford, cartoonist Joey Arnold, and advisor Steve Stepanek. Virginia and the rest of her staff work long and hard hours to bring Southern Arkansas University the latest on on-campus news and off-campus ads. This crew of very talented students has succeeded in upholding the tradition of a successful college newspaper. With an SAU profile, I'm Chad Batchelor. And I'm Christy Roden. SAU Sports, I'm Monica Rasmussen. And I'm Samantha Scott. The Mule Riders slaughtered the Henderson State Reddies 86-27 Saturday afternoon at Carpenter Haygood Stadium. It has been 70 years since the Mule Riders have scored this many points and 100 years since the Reddies have given up this number of points. Senior halfback Kevin Wilcott led the way with six touchdowns for a Gulf South Conference record. He carried the ball 16 times for 188 yards. A series of numerous turnovers aided the Mule Riders in their record victory over Henderson State. 
Coach John Bland said he is very proud of the team and is anxiously waiting to begin working for next season. The Rotorette volleyball team finished off its roller coaster of a season this weekend with home matches against Texas Wesleyan University and Christian Brothers University. The SAU Rotorette volleyball team concluded their 2000 season Sunday night at the celebrated senior night. The Rotorettes ended their season with an overall record of 11 wins and 24 losses. The men's basketball team will begin its season against Lemoyne Owen College in Magnolia Saturday, November 18th. Coach Doherty has outlined the goals of the team, hoping to compete at a national level by qualifying for NCAA postseason play. Their biggest dilemma is lack of size, so the team must use speed and shooting ability in order to neutralize their larger opponents. The SAU Fast Pitch Softball Program has been recognized for outstanding academic achievements last season. The Riderettes, who posted a team GPA of 3.477, placed fifth in the 1999 2000 National Fast Pitch Coaches Association's NCAA Division II Team GPA Poll. The Riderettes led the GSC and an academic honor roll members with 16 last season. SAU Sports, I'm Samantha Skiles. And I'm Monica Rasmussen. With commentary, I'm Daniel Green. Whether you're a political pundit or a regular person, you no doubt know about our current presidential situation and what's going on in Florida. Demonstrations run rampant all over the state for a revote, and that may not be a bad idea. Recounting the votes on those ballots by hand leads to bias, and people saying that individuals voted for someone they might not have. It should not matter, but Bush's brother Jeb is the governor of Florida, and his Florida campaign manager is the secretary of state. As for those ballots, they did not seem that confusing. Of course, that is coming from a younger individual who did not have to stand in long lines for hours, then have to deal with the ballots. It is understandable for seniors who had to stand in long lines in hot buildings for hours. It currently rests in the hands of the Florida courts. After all the dust clears and we have a new president, I hope for his sake he does a good job. With commentary, I'm Daniel Green. With an SAU police log, I'm Charles Boston. And I'm Robert Chapman. On October 31st at 11.45 p.m., the student patrol reported a car on fire at Herod Hall. Officer Kevin Murphy responded and used a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. The car belonged to Valerie Wise and was caused by mechanical problems. On November 2nd, Brian Pullum reported to the UPD that unknown persons took his vehicle without permission between November 1st and November 2nd. The vehicle was left by Pullum in the Tally Hall parking lot and discovered on Crescent Drive. No damage was done to the vehicle. On November 2nd, Summer Irwin and Wilton Leah reported some cleaning products taken from an unlocked toolbox in the back of Irwin's pickup truck. On November 2nd, Monica Alm backed into the patrol vehicle of the SAU Police Department in the parking lot of the Student Activities Building. The vehicle was unoccupied at the time and the damage was estimated at $1,800. Approximately $100 in damage was estimated for Alm's vehicle. All members of the university community are required to follow the directions of UPD officers or other authorized university officials. All persons are expected to present an SAU ID or other identification upon request. UPD personnel cooperate with other federal, state, and local law enforcement authorities in the enforcement of all laws, as well as the detention and arrest for violations of these laws. UPD also responds to off-campus calls as requested by the Magnolia Police Department or other local agencies. While off-campus, UPD officers maintain the same authority as though they were on campus. The University Police Department officers are available to present programs to student groups, resident hall groups, classes, and other groups both on and off campus. These programs are designed to provide information about crime and tips on how to prevent yourself from becoming a victim. With an SAU Police Log, I'm Robert Chapman. And I'm Charles Boston. I am Tyree Haywood. And I'm Cassandra Rose. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. Tyson Foods of Hope is looking for a production supervisor training. To apply for this position, contact Linda Walker. You may fax resumes to 777-7131. That fax number is 777-7131. An accounting interim position will be open this summer at Altel. 
The company wants a college sophomore or junior majoring in accounting or finance with a GPA of 3.0 or above preferred. The applicant must have experience in Microsoft Word and Excel software applications. Altel will be on campus conducting interviews starting December 1st. Altel specializes in wireless and wireline communications and serves 55 countries worldwide. I am Tyree Haywood. And I'm Cassandra Rose. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm James Fantini. Fall Fest 2000 is scheduled for this week. It is full of exciting activities. From 11 a.m. to 11.30, the chili and general booth setup will begin. From 11.30 to 1.30, the chili tasting and judging takes place. The first place winner receives $100, second place $75, and third place $50. The festivities also include a cracker building contest in which the winner will receive a $10 bookstore gift certificate. The day concludes with an encore performance at 2.30. The 2001 Miss Magnolia pageant will be held January 12th and 13th in the Magnolia Junior High School Auditorium. It's sponsored by the Miss Magnolia Pageant Association. Contestants will compete in interview, talent, swimsuit, and evening gown. Miss Magnolia contestants must be 17 to 24 years of age and one of the following. A resident of Columbia County, a Southern Arkansas University student who has attended the school at least one semester prior to the pageant, or be employed 40 hours a week in Columbia County for at least six months. Deadline to enter is December 2nd. For further information, call 234-2068 or 695-3796. Kristen Larson, SAU's new theater director, will make her debut with A.R. Gurney's The Fourth Wall. Larson is originally from California. She earned her bachelor's in acting from Southern Oregon University and a master's in directing from the University of Montana. Before coming to SAU, Larson spent a year touring with Montana's Shakespeare in the Parks in the Missoula Children's Theater. Larson says, the actors are delightful in their roles and the show ought to be a hoot to watch. The play will begin December 5th and run until December 7th. And that's this week's entertainment news. SAU broadcast journalism students produce informative television programs for viewers in Southwest Arkansas. The SAU Report features interviews with faculty, staff, students, and alumni. It is seen each week in Magnolia on TCA Cable Channel 13. Camden residents can see the SAU Report each morning on Cable Channel 16. Tens of thousands of cable television households in southwest Arkansas watch the program on KTSS-TV Channel 55 in Hope. The SAU Report not only serves as a learning tool for broadcast journalism students, but serves to inform the region about institutional events and personalities. Some editions of SAU Magazine feature audio segments from these television programs. Be sure and watch the SAU Report on your local cable television service. Informative viewing, provocative subject matter. The SAU Report. With this week's SAU Calendar, I'm Joanne Lane. On Monday, November 20th, SGA Traffic Appeals Court meets at 4 p.m. An IGC meeting takes place at 7.30 p.m. in Wilson Hall, room 203. Tuesday, November 21st, at noon, the Wesley Foundation Free Lunch takes place until 12.45 p.m. At 4 p.m., a President's Ambassadors meeting in the Overstreet Boardroom. At 5 p.m., an Impact Team meeting in the Bruce Center. Chi Alpha Free Walmart Trip begins at 6 p.m. On Wednesday, November 22nd, Thanksgiving break begins at 5 p.m., with residence halls also closing at 5 p.m. On Friday, November 24th, the Riderettes will play a road basketball game in Commerce, Texas. On Sunday, November 26th, the residence halls open at 2 p.m. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.